Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and today I am using the Foxy Friends set and the Fox Builder Punch. I am super excited about using these. I have not gotten my hands on them yet, so this is the first time that I'm using them, and I've had them for quite a while, so this is an exciting day. And I actually found this cute, I think it's like a frame. I was trying to think of what you called it, like a picture for a frame. In saved by Stampin' Up on Pinterest. So Stampin' Up is the one who created this and I'm going to case it. <laughs> and so what I have is a five by seven piece of Whisper White that is going to be, I think the base to the card. Now I'm not sure how big all of these are going to turn out and I might need to make it a little bigger, but I thought that this might be cute for my daughter when she's going away to college. I know I keep saying that, but it's what's happening in my life right now. So that's where I'm at. So I'm thinking for this build a bear or build a bear punch, build a fox punch or fox punch, you need to just stamp or cut out the whole thing and then we'll go from there. So I am using, well, do I have this backwards? I kind of do. Okay. I'm going to use, I'm going to make the raccoon first. <coughs> and for that, I'm going to use both smoky slate and basic gray. So I'm just going to cut out. the whole thing in basic gray and then again in smoky slate. So we're going to build one at a time so that we can keep them separated and I have my fine tipped glue pen and I also have the Tombow mono liquid adhesive and then I also have my two-way glue pen. So we will get started with this. And um, I'm just kind of copying almost exactly what they have on the Pinterest site because I think it's just adorable and because I haven't done it before, it's kind of nice sometimes to just get your ideas going and go with it. So I think, oh, oops, I need this tail. But then I'm also going to use this tail to clip so I'm just kind of getting it ready right now. So this would go like this. And then I want to clip out some parts of this tail to make the stripes on the other tail. So I'll do here. So that one will go there. And then I will skip a stripe and then do a stripe and then skip a stripe. And then do a stripe. That one might be a little big. Let me cut a little smaller. And then skip a stripe. And then I think I'll just leave this part down at the very bottom because I think that that will be enough. So let me take, I think I'll use this fine tip glue. Oh, whoops, I didn't, wasn't supposed to pull all that out. You're just supposed to pull the white part off. I screwed up. Well, there we go. You just pull the white part off. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here at the tip of the tail and then I'll lay that down on top of it. And then this one goes next. And if you have tweezers or something, you may consider using those.
so there we go. And then this gets attached to the base of the body. So I think I'm just going to put some glue right here. And do that, I think. That looks cute. And then I need his little head, which is this one. And it kind of looks like they attached it with a glue dot, but I'm just going to go with regular glue. Or not a glue dot, a uh, dimensional. And then his little raccoon eyes, how did they do that? Looks like they took this, but they trimmed it. So, we're going to do the same. Have them too long, I think. So we'll trim this a little more. It's better to trim it less than you need than more or too much to start. There we go, that looks better. I'm trying to keep all of the trash over to the side so I don't get it mixed up with stuff that's not trash. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then it does give you the little things to, for the ears, maybe. I can't tell. Does it give you two of those? No. Just one. So, I could either punch out another ear thing, which is, I guess, what I'll do. I will punch out another ear thing for this guy in this color so I'm just taking it and so it gave me a little piece of trash that I can throw over here and then it gave me another little ear thing so I'm going to just put a dot of glue inside each ear open oh, here's fuzz And then I will put this inside each ear like that. And then I'm going to take my black marker as opposed to using a stamp just because it's such a small little thing that I need to do. I'm going to put his little eyes in here and then I'm going to put his little nose right in here and like that and there's our first little varmint we have a little raccoon oh that is really cute I like it I like it I like it Okay, so there's our raccoon. Now I'm going to take this stuff and kind of move it to the side on the other side because it's not really trash. It's just different pieces and parts 
that I didn't use and maybe I could use them on another animal or something like that. So before I throw them away, I'm just going to save them. And so next, let's do a brown bear. And so to do this one, I'm going to need to cut everything out again in chocolate chip. And then I'm cutting everything out again in crumb cake. And for this one, I just need this, this, this. And that, I think. Okay, so I'm going to... The first thing I'm going to do is cut off his ears so that they're rounded. So he looks more like a bear than a fox. And then, to do his little bear face, we put this on the bottom, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Way too much glue on that you can see how it's all shiny and then I want a little part for his chest So I'm just taking the tail and just making it what I want it to be. And I'll just take a little bit of glue, put it there, and then I'm using this part as a handle to kind of go down just a little bit, but I don't want it to be pointy, so I made sure that I got that just a little bit off of the brown, Let's see how that is, and then I'm going to take that and attach it to this so it looks like that. Now for his nose and eyes, I want his eyes to be up here. And his nose. Should be right there. And that's our second little guy. So then our third little guy is the little red fox, and I'm using real red. I know that a lot of people are using Calypso Coral, which is also cute. So there's the real red. 
And then I'm going to use Whisper White. I'm not pushing it down all the way for some reason. Oh, my little thing came out. I will have to play with that. <laughs> I don't know what I did to... I don't know. I will play with that. But that was preventing it from going all the way down, which was making me have to punch it twice. But I'll figure it out. Okay, so for this one, it's similar to the brown bear. I'm going to use this on the tip of his tail. And then this will be his body. And he needs this. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some glue here. And here. And then I will add his eyes and nose. Similar positioning as the bear. Like that, and there's our little fox creature. Yay, fox. And then we will do a skunk. So I will need the basic black. And I will need Whisper White again. So I have some Whisper White, but I don't know that I have everything I need. So I'm just going to cut out another Whisper White. So to do the skunk, I need to take his tail and I'm going to cut a strip down the middle. And I'm just following the same contour of the tail. That's already there. I'm going to trim less on one side than on the other side, I think. And that's going to go like that. So I'm just taking a fine line and putting it on there. There we go. There's our tail. And then I'm going to do the same eyes with the skunk as I did with the fox. And 
And then the skunk is also going to have a little tuft of hair. Which is too cute. And it's going to stick up a little bit too much, so I'll just trim that off. Give him a little haircut. Well, maybe I should wait for it to stick on there first. And let's do a little piece on his chest. So I'm using this big piece of white. And the way that they did it was kind of off to the side. Kind of like that. But it looks like they did. A little spot for his arm too or something so I don't know I'm just kind of copying what they did and I'm not sure that I like or understand what that's supposed to look like so now I'm going back in and just being me Kind of doing what I did to the other one, but still making it kind of go off to the side a little bit so that he's kind of turned maybe. Something like that. Yeah, that's good. So let's put this down first. And then I'll attach his little head. Now I'm going to use the gray nose from the other varmint to put on here because otherwise you might not see it. I guess I could draw it on with the black, but I'm going to do it this way. And then I will put some eyes on him in the white spots. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to see him. Put some glue on his tail. And then there we go. There's my Mr. Skunkarelli. Very cute. So then we have one more guy, and I'm not exactly sure what he is. In my head, he kind of looks like a little bit of a wolf. So that's what I'm going to go with. And it looks like they used crumb cake. And white so that's probably what I will do as well so there's crumb cake and yeah I need a new white And for this one, what they did is took his little eyes and cut one of them off like this and then put this down the center of his head like that. So I'm going to cut off that little part that's kind of sharp turn. I want it to be more flowy. And 
and then the tip of the tail gets this again. And this one they just kind of put behind his head, kind of cool. So I'm just copying, doing the same thing. Kind of like that. Actually, I think I'll go more like that. And then his little body. All right. Now, if you have the stamp set, you can totally stamp their faces if you're not comfortable drawing them on or if you just don't want to, whatever. When it's something a little like that, I find it's easier for me to just draw them on. So there we have all of our little critters. There's the little wolf, the skunk, the bear, the fox, and the raccoon. And then uh, fighting with the lid again. There we go. We have lots of little parts left, but I'm probably just going to toss those. Although I'm sure you could make another little animal with them. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Using this guy. And I don't know if I could actually use this or not on my 5x7. No, I could not. one as well so I will use this one for my five by seven and so to do this it looks like they went like maybe brought this out a little bit wider. And went like halfway and then did it again like halfway. I guess I could do it this way because three and a half would be half of seven. That way I know I'm starting at the right spot.
Well, let's give it a whirl, shall we? And I'm going to use the mint macaron. good and then I think what I'll do is turn this over like this and ink that up again that way I know those two sides are perfectly the same and then what I'll do Clean it off using a baby wipe. do it for the same way over here where is my magnets shaping the acrylic to look the way I want it to look. They did theirs a little bit differently where they had space between these two. So they may have used a bigger stamp or a bigger piece. Maybe theirs is even an eight by 10 or they could have just done it a little differently. I don't know, but I like this, so I'm good with it. And then I'm going to put a little heart here and here with my animals here in the middle. So let's see what I can do, how I can do that. there isn't just a heart it looks like there's a mushroom maybe I'll use the mushroom and there's cute paw print okay so I'd like the mushroom to be in a peachy color. Clip, coral, clips of coral. And 
And then I'd like the feet to be black. Or here, I have early espresso candy in a little spot from a paper pumpkin, so I'll use that. And then I want to put him again. Down there. even do it two more times just because I have a space and I'm not really liking that so even do another little mushroom up at the top but use the other one I guess I'll do this in Calypso Coral too. There we go. I think that's all of our stamp stamping. use the big one much anymore but it's nice to have both because when you need it you need it Then, let's see, how did they have it? They have it, raccoon, this guy, bear, this guy, this guy. So theirs probably is a little bigger than mine, but that's okay. Oh, hello Fuzz, you wanna see what's happening? If I wanna get them all in, like if I want to frame this or something, I'd want to smush them a little bit, so I'm not sure yet. Let's play with this a minute and see what we come up with. 
I think that's cute. What do you guys think? I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Just kidding. But I think it's cute. And on their sentiment, they have Say Yes to New Adventures, which is a pretty cool thing to put on something that someone that's going to college. So I may copy that. But I think I'm going to send this to her like in a care package. I don't know if I'll have it framed or not. I mean, I won't have it framed. I don't know if I will frame it or not. If I do, I'll just go to Goodwill and find a cheapo frame. His eye looks like it. You can't see it all, so I'm just redrawing that. When I won that Cat and Paws uh, 100 uh, subscriber giveaway, she gave me these little air freshener things, and I have one in with my pens. It's a Colonial Candle Southern Magnolia, and it smells so good. And every time I pull out my pens from this section, they smell like that. And it makes me happy. So I thought I'd share it. Shirt, shirt. Oh, that's cute. I do like that. Now I have a little fingernail polish on here that I'd gotten from my finger when I was cutting the card or something. Didn't notice it at first, but notice it now. That's okay. It's handmade. It's not perfect. Well, that's it, guys. I guess that that will be my project. One of my um, goodie gifts to Katie. I don't remember what they're called right now. Care packages. Woo wee. Well, in with some care package stuff. But yay, that's fun. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for some more use with these boxy friends. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.